Welcome to No Bones At All, a video series in which I will be sharing my life as an ethical vegan with you and giving you a chance to consider this way of looking at the world and our place in it. So for anyone who's a little bit fuzzy on what veganism is, here's a quick definition. Veganism is a way of living which seeks to exclude as far as is possible and practicable all forms of exploitation of and cruelty to animals for food, clothing, or any other purpose. We believe all animals, not just dogs and cats, deserve to live free and happy lives. So while a vegetarian may still consume dairy cheese, milk, yogurt, eggs, vegans don't eat any animal products at all, which is actually pretty easy to do when you have access to fresh fruit and vegetables, beans, grains, nuts, and other plant foods, along with some basic nutritional info. People who say veg diets aren't healthy are only looking at those of us who eat a load of processed foods, baked goods and pasta and all that sort of thing. It also means we don't wear or otherwise use leather, wool, goose down, silk. That said, if you see a self-described vegan wearing a wool sweater, uh, it probably means that they purchased that sweater before they went vegan. We call that pregan. People who don't understand the underlying reasons and values of veganism tend to see vegans as sanctimonious, but that is a cop-out. Going vegan is the best decision I've ever made, and 12 years into it, I'm still having a lot of fun. In this series, we'll cook together, I'll take you with me on the film festival circuit and inside the fabulous vegan restaurants I'm visiting in my travels, and I'll be chatting with some of my vegan friends so you can get a broader range of perspectives. But before we dive into the fun stuff, let me explain the vegan subtext of Bones and All as I intended it. So whether you are a cannibal or a regular law-abiding omnivore, the fact is that you are consuming the flesh of a being who did not want to die. The fact that humans breed cows, pigs, chickens, and other animals in a systematically violent fashion and have been doing so for thousands of years is, in my view, more monstrous than pretty much anything that happens in Bones and All. To all farmed animals, humans are the monsters. The dominant culture tells us that these lives have no value beyond our dinner plates. But when you stop and think about it, when you get curious about it, you see how abominably cruel that mindset is. The willful misconception that animals do not feel fear and pain and pleasure just as we do is part and parcel of what Carl Sagan called our human chauvinism. As Matthew Ricard, a Buddhist monk often called the happiest man in the world, writes in his book, A Plea for the Animals, those who persist in justifying the torments we inflict on animals should begin by explaining why the golden rule applies only to human beings and by what right they consider themselves authorized in so limiting it. And that's it. That's the reason the novel exists. This video series is for you if you are veg curious, a vegetarian thinking about veganism, or someone with a loved one who is vegan or vegetarian and want to understand their point of view. Fans of Bones and All, film or novel or both, are also very welcome, of course, but bear in mind that I do not tolerate trolls. Any comments that do not demonstrate positive intentions will be auto-deleted. Feel free to ask me questions as long as it's something that isn't easily Googleable. I'm working on my epic time travel screwball comedy right now. I do not have time for lazy questions or any sort of debate. So thanks in advance for being respectful. Also, chances are good I've answered your question in my book, A Bright Clean Mind, Veganism for a Creative Transformation. That said, in this video series, I'm going to try my best to cover new ground. Though I will not be sharing undercover factory farm footage inside of this video series, I will periodically be posting links up here so that you can begin to bear witness and see what's really going on as opposed to what you would like to be true. The myth of old MacDonald and his happy barnyard. That is not reality. It is not the reality even in family owned, family run farms. Just one more thing before we dive in, for all you not yet vegans out there, I just wanna tell you that I really appreciate your willingness to be here and to consider another way of being, a kinder, more compassionate, more just way of being and making choices in the world. It's a brave thing you're doing, so I just want you to know that I appreciate you. 